Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today's going to be a bunch of little snippets, I think, because um, I've got a lot on my mind that would take just a few seconds to tell you. The first thing that I wanted to talk about was the pawpaw. And the reason I want to talk about a pawpaw is I was watching Whistle Thicket, and he had some pawpaws. He was telling the story about how he was um, going to have a contest, I guess, within his town. And I think it was on his Facebook thing, too. I'm not sure, but I know it was within his town. And it was to see who could have the tallest sunflower. Well, he made up certificates, and his daughter made some signs, and they went to where they were all supposed to have this... Um, little event and no one showed up. I felt so sad for him to hear that. That was my fear when he was telling the story. And in his box of things, of certificates and other things that he had, he had put some pawpaw seeds. And the seeds, he had put them in a little dirt and moistened them. And they had sprouted. And he was going to plant them. He would love to have a pawpaw patch where he would in like six or seven years, I think it takes, and he would have the fruit. And I have never seen a pawpaw or eaten a pawpaw, but I did tell him that I know a pawpaw song. Because when I was younger, we used to do this little activity where we would sing a song about a pawpaw. And so I looked up the song, and in the song, it was really Nellie. They would say, um, where, oh, where is sweet little Nellie? Well, in the one that I watched, it said, where, oh, where is sweet little Jimmy? <laughs> she just loves that. Um, but anyways, that, and then, um, come on, boys, let's go find her. But in the, in the one that I watched, it said, come on, boys, and let's go find him. And then where is he? He's way down yonder in a pawpaw patch. And so then the part that I remembered was picking up pawpaws and putting them in your pocket and way down yonder in the pawpaw patch. I will put the link so you can listen to the song. I don't know if it has royalty-free stuff, so I'm not going to sing it. I could, but I'm not going to. And so you can listen to it if you wish to listen to it. I'll put it in the, in the part where it says more. I'll put the link to this down there. And it was Whistle Thicket that brought this song to my mind. It was also mentioned in, in Jungle Book. The Papa was mentioned in Jungle Book? Yeah. Ah, the I don't remember. I don't, the bear did? Yeah. Wow, Baloo, I yeah. think his Baloo. name is. Baloo. Baloo mentioned about the Papas. Oh, I don't remember that part, but that's interesting too. Then I was listening to the news today, and they said if you had a chance to tell your younger self, give your younger self some advice, and turn back time, what would you tell your younger self? Well, I was trying to think, I don't know what I would tell my younger self. I'd probably have a lot to say, but I don't have a lot to say at this moment about it. But just think about it. What would you tell your younger self? Then um, another one I was, I was um, watching, they were talking about age. Like, how old are you? Well, when I go to tell people my age, it's so funny because I... I tell the wrong age every time, and it feels like I'm telling the truth. And then when I tell my correct age, I feel like I'm lying. So I don't know how old I am anymore. I'm just old enough to know better, but young enough to still I, have I fun. <laughs> I know it. Um, let's see. Also, a lot of you were concerned because I don't have a couch. I don't want a couch. And I do have a comfy chair. Now I have now in my house I have actually two living rooms. One is for sitting if you wanted to sit. And one is for um we watch television in there sometimes or I cast I always cast my videos to the TV so if your volume is not real loud I can still hear you because I can boost the sound with my television volume. But um I do have one recliner never use it when I was when we didn't have her yeah when he comes when Michael comes to visit he sits on it yeah Michael that's your chair <laughs> in case you watch this hi Michael 
I see you. Do you see your mom? Your mom's watching you. Um, are you watching me? <laughs> He's watching me. Okay. Um, I do have one recliner. And when we didn't have a recliner, I used to think, man, it would be so nice to have a recliner. Well, I have one. In fact, I had a love seat that had two recliners in it. I gave that to Michael. He's got those. And so when I go to his house, I sit on them, but I don't recline them because I don't need, to, I really don't use the recliner like a recliner. Then we have a couple platform rockers. I do like those. Um, they're easy to clean under, easy to move, and I like that. I do have a real big rocker that we used to use for Christmas when Santa would be at the church or even in my daycare when we invited Santa. It's a great big rocker that the Santa Claus would sit on and it looks perfect for him. It was Jim's grandma's chair and she used to pile a bunch of pill pillows in it and sit up there with her little feet on the, the bar that's on the chair. And you know who she looked like? She looked like Edith Ann. Do you remember Edith Ann? And she used to, or, and laughing, she used to, that's the show she was on and she'd say, and something and then she'd do the little and that's or something and that's something like that yeah. I don't know she used to say and that's so <laughs> she was funny I didn't get to watch laughing too often but I did see it now and then and I liked Edith Ann another character I liked was Topo Gijo do you remember Topo Gijo he was on the Ed Sullivan show and every we used to be in bed because we had to go to bed at 8 30 and we'd hear Topo Gijo, and um, we were allowed to get up and go see the television just for the few seconds because it used to come on after 9 o'clock. And he'd say, Eddie, kiss me a good night, and is what Topo Gijo said. He was a little mouse that was a puppet, and I liked that too. Okay, back to the chair. <laughs> I don't need a chair, but I do sit on, on exercise balls. And... The reason I sit on an exercise ball is because I don't want furniture in the house. Plus, the exercise ball, would you believe a lot the, I learned this when I went to the gym. A lot of people can't sit on them because they really can't balance. They get really afraid that they're going to fall. Well, with me sitting on it all the time, my core is stronger because of it. Let's see, what else did I write down? I wrote down some stuff because, you know, when I get talking to you, I get distracted and I just go off to another traveling show. So I, um, it keeps you from falling asleep. You won't fall asleep on a ball if you sat on a couch. How many of you have sat there on the couch or on a chair and first thing you know, you're snoring. You're sound to sleep. Why? Because you've gotten too comfortable. Well, on a ball, you don't. And you really shouldn't sit on the ball more than 30 minutes. You, you really need to get yourself up and down. And which you would get up and down because you don't seem to sit there as long. At least I don't. I'm, I sit on it for a while and I might rock back and forth or I might twist or I might do something or I might bounce. And then I get up and go do something because... Uh, you don't you don't sit as long. You just don't sit as long. It can improve your posture. It helps build a stronger core. I don't know if I said that or not, but my nose is itching. And, and no, I'm not lying either. I know Susie says that every time, and I've said it before, because they used to say, when your nose itches, you're lying. <laughs> no, I'm not lying. It means you're going to kiss a fool, meet a stranger, fall in love, or be in danger. I'd rather kiss the fool. And so sometimes <laughs> That's me. I usually kiss myself if Jim's not around. Otherwise, he's the one I kiss. And then itchy nose will go away. Um, and you can also burn extra calories. Guess how many? <laughs> this will kill you. It's a whole bunch. It's huh? a, yeah, a real lot. You have to sit on it um, and do some exercise and you'll burn four whole whopping big calories in an hour yeah that's it so it does help you burn calories improves posture um most likely you won't sit too long you won't fall asleep and you strengthen your core and it improves balance those were the things i had written down 
And was that? Oh, and I wanted to tell you, I learned a word in Japanese today. It was on the news. I wrote it out. It's kino ye. Wait a minute. Kino yabi. Kino yabi. <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> kino yabi. And enjoy your tomorrow. I don't know what tomorrow is, how you say it. So it's manana in Italian. But manana never comes. So, I'll, But I'll see you in manana. I'll see you tomorrow. You have a great day. Bye.